Take number 567 11 22. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. Yo, what up, YouTube? I'm back. Just kidding. It's my fake birthday, but this is the makeup tutorial that I was going to post. However, my laptop died, and you know, it just went sideways. I'm excited to share this with you guys, so let's just get into the video. Tuning in. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button down below, and I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys the makeup look you never asked for. I've had some questions for me, so I'm gonna answer those. But first off, of course, before you do any sort of makeup, you want to make sure your skin is moisturized and ready to go. Your skin gonna be cracking, girls. I did my skincare routine courtesy of Divinity Skincare. This is a Smashbox uh, original photo finish smooth and blur primer. So I definitely do wanna know what you guys have been up to. Like quarantine's been basically whack for me. <laughs> you know what else I forgot? I think I'm gonna go ahead and take these curlers out. If you guys are wondering, yes, these are flexi rods. It's in a black girl's makeup kit, glam kit, basic bitch kit. <laughs> That's what flexi rods are for. But yeah, I'm, I slept in these last night so my curls would be like extra juicy. Hopefully they come out that way because at, <laughs> every time I do these, they never come out right. But we're gonna try, we're gonna try. Okay, so I'm gonna try to fix <laughs> I'm gonna try to fix my baby hairs, but I'm like really bad at these, so okay, don't judge me. <laughs> I'm actually using my uh, Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I actually like to use this as a lip balm. And I'm gonna go ahead and just put it on my lips and let it sit. So while we're doing my makeup, it can transform from dry to fly. We're also gonna try to use my Rowan palette. This is the palette, um, 75 degree palette. Um, yeah, I'm gonna use this palette today. It's clean beauty, it's all natural, it's vegan. It comes with a little compact mirror and it's great for traveling. So I'm gonna incorporate my Rowan. Sweet. Okay, so now we're gonna jump into the questions. I'm all over the place with this video, guys, but you know, I'm being transparent, I'm being real. But um, we're gonna go ahead and jump into me doing my eyebrows and i'm currently using the nyx professional makeup uh micro brow pencil i'm gonna do it in black today because i dyed this wig on my head black i think i just want a more dramatic look so i'm brushing my eyebrows upward just because that's the look okay so the first question on my list was actually um an interesting question. What was the question? <laughs> the question was, if I was famous for anything, what would I be famous for? And I think that's a really good question. Honestly, I don't know, but probably procrastination. <laughs> that and sleeping during Netflix and chill. I don't know, guys. I'm anemic, you know, so... Okay, so we're still doing my eyebrows, as you can see. Yeah, the second question. What did I want to be when I grew up? And I actually wanted to be an animator, believe it or not. Like, I wanted to work for Walt Disney at Walt Disney Studios, and I wanted to um, draw the cartoon characters for upcoming movies. So that was always my dream as a child, and that's actually... What led me to being an artist? <laughs> I love animated projects to this day. Um, I still watch cartoons and yes, I can draw and I still do draw from time to time. There we go, eyebrow number one. Okay, 
The next question that was on or that somebody asked me was um, what made me get into YouTube? I've been obsessed with this platform probably like when I hit my preteen stage, like I want to say like 12, 13. I had like this old little blue camera <laughs> that I was obsessed with as a little kid. Oh, that's what it was called. It was called Video Now. I think that's what it was called. If I can find a clip of it, then I'll um, and put it in here. But yeah, I was obsessed with this thing called Video Now and I had this camera. That's what I used to play with when I was a kid. And I grew up just like being on the platform and when I mean being on the platform, it was before all of this marketing stuff. Like there was a time and a place where YouTube was actually fun and people did fun things because that's what we did. Like, um, I'm actually gonna use, I'm gonna use this concealer. It's the um, NYX Professional HD Studio Concealer. My shade is uh, 6.7 in caramel. That is, uh, how I got into YouTube, but really we literally just used to do dumb shit on there, on the platform for fun. And that was appealing to me. <laughs> and I always used to watch people, like I used to watch like Andy Milanakis. Um, I used to watch, who else did I used to watch? Um, why is Andy Milanakis the only person I can think of right now? Um, Samantha Maria, she was the first real beauty vlogger that I ever started following and that I ever watched and I still follow her to this day. So, and she's not generic, she's not like fake or anything. So I highly recommend watching her channel. She's one of my favorites. Um, it was a pact between me and my grandma. So that was the final straw that like made me execute starting my YouTube channel. Do it because you want to have fun. Like, it shouldn't be about a paycheck. I feel like we need to bring back the authenticity. We need to bring back the realness. So yeah, I don't think I had the record button on, but I'm, I, um... <laughs> I went ahead and put uh, this MAC red lipstick under my eyes. Um, the color is ready to go. This was a gift to me. Um, I just gonna put it... <laughs> I put it under my eyes because, why did I put this under my eyes? I put the red lipstick under my eyes because it color corrects. So if you do not have, do not, do not. If you do not have color corrector, you can always use red lipstick under your eyes if you're a deeper skin tone. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use this to color correct and get rid of any dark circles because I do naturally look like a raccoon. And I'm also, while we're at it, gonna go ahead and put uh, my LA Colors Conceal Correct uh, Color Correcting Cream. Um, I don't think I have any red spots. Like my skin's pretty even, but sometimes I do end up with like little pigmented spots um and my nose can sometimes get kind of red so i'm gonna go ahead and put it like around my nose because this is the area that i usually have like brighter red spots and i'm just gonna color correct the next question on my list is when did i start my natural hair journey a very very long time ago i was in college i used to wear perms in my hair a lot because in the African-American community, like we typically tend to gravitate towards perms or at least we did back in the day for several reasons. If you wanna know, do some research. Me, I'm a huge convenience person, so I always had a perm in my hair. And eventually when I got to college, so many beautiful women around me were like embracing their true selves and they were letting go of things that were not true to their identity. Also, my hair was just really damaged and I was like, it was nice having straight hair, but at the same time, um, you know, it wasn't really helping me. Like I wasn't really, it was straight and it was damaged. So eventually I made the big decision to like finally let my hair go and I started transitioning. So I didn't cut all of my hair off. I just like grew it out and then as when I would grow it out, I would like get trims and cut off all the dead ends. I've been natural for, I wanna say like six years now. So that means 
I would have went natural in 2015. It was like around 2014, 2015, maybe a little even earlier. Like honestly, I've lost track, but my natural hair routine basically consists of me wearing a lot of protective styles. Um, just because my hair grows faster when it's in a protective style. And it keeps me from putting heat on my hair, which is something that I'm really bad at. But it's been a long time coming. It hasn't been easy. I definitely um, had some really large trims a couple of times. But if you guys want to know more about that journey, I'm happy to make um, a YouTube video. Yeah. Pen, pen, pen. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and figure out what my foundation is gonna be, but I think I'm gonna go with Hoovia's Place today simply because it's old and I want to use it all. And also, um, this shade is a little darker on me. Um, I think it, it pops more and I'm going with like a warm look today. So I think I'm gonna go with this. You know what, maybe I changed my mind. Maybe I'm actually <laughs> liking this foundation on camera. I'm gonna go ahead and take my beauty blender and get the rest of this. So what are your guys' plans for Valentine's Day? Cause I'm single and lonely. Somebody needs to take me to Ruth Chris. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't really even like steak for real, if anybody wants to know. Next caller. Okay, so the next question that I was asked was video games or anime? And honestly, that's a really good question because <laughs> it's hard to choose. I would say video games for sure because that's just my reality. That's like normally what I go for. Um, anime, I am appreciative of anime because that's how I learned how to draw as I started drawing manga or manga. I definitely have an appreciation for anime. I'm more of a like Sailor Moon, One Piece, Beyblade, Pokemon type of chick. But there's a really cool video on YouTube that I always like watch and listen to for inspiration. Um, it's like a Frank Ocean, an ode to Frank Ocean for, what is that? shoot what is that album that he put out blonde it's like a blonde tribute and it's like all anime i love watching that video all the time i will say though that i do love anime movies like i really love how miyazaki movies those are my favorite like spirited away is my favorite definitely more of a video game type of girl my favorite video games were spyro crash bandicoot um I used to play Dexter. I also used to play Kingdom Hearts. That was one of my favorite. I'm a huge Kingdom Hearts fan. I love interactive things and I love like interacting. Um, so I love to play games always. Um, I'm actually lightly putting translucent powder over my foundation just because like I crease a lot when I put foundation on, even when I'm putting minimal product on my face. So I'm just gonna put some translucent powder on so it doesn't move while I'm getting ready to put my eyeshadow on. Honestly, I know this is backwards, but I think I'm gonna contour my face next because I'm stupid. Uh. Also, I think I'm gonna amp up my contour because I really want this look to be like dramatic. Simple but dramatic because I'm an old soul. <laughs> Who updates makeup routines anymore? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now the fun questions. What villain do I really feel for? Hmm, I really feel for Doc D at the moment. But yeah, Doc D, I don't know if you guys have heard Planetary Destruction by Doc D, but that, that shit is flame. Logic produced this album or this mixtape. And honestly, I thought he was going into retirement. So I'm really surprised that we even got anything from him. But I snake it, let me tell you, that is a hit. Can we just have Logic make a whole R&B album? Because honestly, I feel like that is something that we need. <laughs>
But yeah, I really feel bad for Doc D because Mans is just heartbroken. Like he's just, he's jacked up. Like Sharon is not right. Boy just hurt, like his heart just broke. Next question, when do I feel most out of place? I would say I feel the most out of place um, <sighs> probably when I'm in like new environments and I'm not familiar with like the people or the actual environment. <laughs> um, that's when I feel the most out of place for sure. Full show. I definitely am not a fan of being like being put in places that I was not prepared for. Like I, I have anxiety and I mentally have to prepare myself to being amongst large crowds. I don't like it. Like I only like it when it's stuff that I'm interested in, like me going to a concert. And even then I'm still kind of like anxious. Okay, next question. I'm actually just gonna go over my contour with this powder contour. It's literally the same. It's the same thing that I always use. It's the Ruby Kisses palette. What trend have I never been able to understand? And <laughs> what I would, I guess the trend that I, I don't even know. Like right now it's the June bug challenge. It's funny now, but like when the original video surfaced, I was like, why is this amazing to y'all? Like, y'all really just bored. <laughs> okay, the next question. The next question. The next question is, <laughs> I'm reading my laptop. Don't be shady. The next question is, how much personal space <laughs> do you need to be comfortable? Um, this is a really, honestly, a really good question for me because I am a hermit. Like, I do not like people in my personal space unless I really just like you. <laughs> honestly, now that I'm thinking about it, I would say I need a whole arm's length to be comfortable as far as personal space like if i don't know you but if you if i do know you then i i need you to be close to me because one of my love languages is physical touch and i like people that i love to be close to me Okay guys, I'm trying the Rowan palette and normally this is like a win-win. I don't dislike this shade. I feel like the Rowan palette is something that you definitely wanna wear by itself. And I forgot I was using the Jackie Ina palette to be honest, but I'm gonna go ahead and like put this as the base and then I'm gonna go over this with another color from the Jackie Ina palette. I should have used a warmer brown, but it's not bad. Eh. Oh my god! So, we're almost not done. Next question. This will probably be one of the last questions. Surprisingly, none of y'all had assumptions about me, which I guess is a good thing. But, I mean, if you do... <laughs> Drop them below in the comment section. But um, the last question, I guess, would be like, what are some reflections or lessons that I could take from 2020 into the new year? And for me, I think that answer would be to just put my faith in something, including myself. Yeah, I think my lesson would just be to like, as cliche and corny as it sounds, <laughs> to believe in myself and to just believe in something. For me, that faith system is God because without God, I can do nothing. I feel like God really gave me some opportunities last year to like transform my life and it was very scary. I had to kind of like just go with the flow. That's something I used to be too, is I used to be a major, 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 major control freak. That was something I really had a problem with. I could not let go of anything. 
that and I was like addicted to pleasing people. So like I had a hard time having faith. So definitely this year I want to move forward in 2021 having more faith and just kind of like I don't know, enjoying life a little bit more. Like there's always gonna be something to worry about. There's always gonna be something that makes you scared or unhappy, but you have to just keep moving forward and do it with a joyful spirit. Because if you do, keeping a positive outlook is like worth its weight in gold. Like you can literally transform your life if you choose happiness, if you choose peace, if you choose to be kind if you choose humility so i think that was ultimately some of the lessons that i learned in 2021 but i do plan on making it if there was an adult version of an ice cream truck it would still sell ice cream and the theme song would be either whistle while you work or ice cream paint job i'm sticking with that <laughs> whistle while you work <laughs> <laughs> so this highlighter is the Artist Co Couture. Artist Couture highlighter. Um, this is available at Sephora.com, wherever the product is sold. And the shade is Honey Drip. Actually was watching a very popular YouTuber. I can't recall his name right now, but um, I'll link it down below. He suggested this to me and I haven't looked back since. What is my favorite Kid Cudi album? My favorite Kid Cudi album is definitely Passion, Pain, and Demon Slaying. I don't know what it is about those hums, but those hums are everything to me. Like, I literally could go to sleep just hearing Kid Cudi hum. Like, I, I don't know what it is. I don't know. But yeah, I'm a huge Kid Cudi fan. Always have been, always will be. And she's screaming, she knows this. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> All right, guys, so I've pretty much been talking the whole video. Um, if you've made it this far, thanks so much for sticking around with the kid. Um, I just wanted to give you guys, like I said, the makeup tutorial you never asked for. But I'm just doing a few final touches to my makeup, so I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Make sure you comment below uh, what you're doing for Valentine's Day and thumbs up this video if you liked any of the questions that I asked and, you know, let me know what content you want to see next. As always, be safe, love you guys, and thanks for watching! Also, I'm gonna give a special birthday shout out to all my fellow Capricorns in the house. That is all. Hit that sus blah, blah, <laughs> subscribe button because I love you. This is what the look looks like, guys. Well, do you think? I actually think I'm gonna add one more thing just because, why not? But no, um, I just thought of this and I was like, oh, it might be a good idea. Give us some blow, you know? <laughs>